Hello, my name's Nicole and welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to be recreating some album covers. Well, I recreated them back in like 2021. So I'm in a completely different place. Honestly, I don't know why I didn't post it. I decided to recreate a few iconic albums. The Blue Album by Weezer, Sweetener by Ariana Grande, Rumors by Fleetwood Mac, 1989 by Taylor Swift, and Fine Line by Harry Styles. Hang tight, buckle up, and let's go on this ride to see how I, how I did it. It was such a bitch. Okay, the first album I tried to recreate was the Blue Album by Weezer. Yep. You just Weezer. This album was one of my favorites growing up, so I figured that this would be a good album to start with. This album was going to be a little tricky in some ways, because if you haven't noticed, Weezer is made up of four balding dudes, whereas I am one cute lady, who is not balding, by the way. I did have to figure out how to make my hair look short, though, because if you cannot tell. I have so many layers in my hair that I look like an onion, so it's very hard to slick it back. It's it's annoying, trust me. Since I didn't have a backdrop, I had to, I guess, get creative in a way by using my white wall. And then I was gonna go into Photoshop later and just change the color of the wall to be blue. I'm blue. What I'm doing. So, found out that my remote doesn't work, and since I'm recording the footage on my phone, which I normally use as a remote for my camera, I have to get creative and use my laptop as a remote. Hey, so turns out I forgot how to use this and I got it to work. So let's let's but do it. luckily I just forgot how to use my camera remote and it wasn't actually broken like I thought. It all went much more smoothly once I figured that out. So what I'm doing is I'm just gonna take a picture of me in different like ways. I hope that makes sense. Obviously to make it as accurate as possible, I had to get as close to the pose as I could, which wasn't hard because when you look at it, they all look bored as shit. So I channeled my inner bored white guy and well, the results were mediocre depending on who you ask, that's perfect. For the next few photos, I basically just did the same thing over and over again, just changed my outfit each time, and it was very straightforward. And that was pretty much it. Yes, I know this shirt is not red, but I'm going to change that in post. I don't own tan pants. Okay, so now I'm doing 1989, but I need to figure out what exactly I'm going to wear for that because I don't have that shirt. Okay, don't laugh at me, but this is the closest thing I have to that shirt. So we're gonna do this. And what I might do is put like an image here that looks similar to Taylor Swift's shirt. I did not do that. The similarities are uncanny if you ask me. Clearly you can see I haven't ever worn this. Okay, so what I'm thinking is I'm going to use this and then scan it and put it on my computer to do the rest of the edits. So we'll see how it goes. I used my Polaroid to take the picture because that's pretty much exactly what she did. The ideas are flowing out of me clearly. Tried taking it the first time and I looked like complete ass, but I was trying to convince myself that I looked good even though I totally didn't. I'm gonna do it one more time because I don't really trust that I really got it because I noticed in it she has her arms more like this so I decided to take it a second time and that photo turned out way better okay I can already tell that this one is much better than this one while it's still developing obviously I think it kind of looks like I have the pose a little bit more than this one okay I think the next one that I'm going to do is Ariana Grande's album Sweet sweetener which was pretty easy because i totally look like ariana grande you can totally see the resemblance right we're both italian so I mean, obviously i can't do anything about my hair right now and yes i'm wearing sweats because 
No one's gonna see my pants, it doesn't matter. My face looks kind of horrid, but it'll be okay because I'm sure even Ariana Grande had Photoshop done to her face for that album cover, so we're good. Also, I have to add, I have no idea what I was doing with my makeup situation. I thought I looked good, except for this stupid Ooh. line of contour Ooh. right Ooh. at my chin slash neck that just was not blended. And I don't know why I decided to do that or if I even noticed, but we're just gonna pretend like I meant to do that. And it doesn't really matter anyway because these photos turned out pretty good anyway. Okay, I think I got it. Uh, I wonder if I can show you guys. That's as good as I could get it for right now. I want grocery shopping. A girl's gotta eat. The next album that I did was Rumors by Fleetwood Mac, which is one of my favorite albums ever. I pretty much dress like a 1970s hippie anyway. So the whole vibe was really easy to recreate. Yeah. <gasps> Dude, I did it. Oh my God. Okay. Wow. That was like the second shot and it looked perfect. So let's do Stevie Nicks, which will be easy because my hair's already in a mullet type of thing. I had the perfect outfit. My hair was in a shag and it looked perfect. This one turned out amazingly. And I'm so happy about that because the next one I did was a complete nightmare. The final album that I recreated was Fine Line by Harry Styles. And I thought that was gonna be really easy because from the looks of the album cover, it's just like him in a room doing a thing. I don't know. Like he's just like posing in a fun way. I don't know what made me think that this would be easy because it wasn't. It was probably my worst nightmare because let me tell you what freaking happened. So I was in the middle of trying to pose as I did for all the other ones and I couldn't get the posing right, which was kind of frustrating. But not only that, after only taking like two photos, <laughs> my camera died. It died. Okay, well, let me charge it and then I'll be back. I thought that maybe I would just like get back to it after my camera charged, but I just, by the time it was charged, it was so late and I was so tired of it because I had been doing this all day and editing this shit was such a pain. I hated this one. I don't even know why I added it in here. Probably just because I did it. And I wanted to show you guys that not all of this was peaches and rainbows and lovely unicorns and shit. Anyway, the next thing I did was edit all of the photos. I just kind of did them all at once. I love editing. So this was like the best part because I could just sit there. Basically what my process was for all of them was select myself and then copy and paste it into a different Photoshop file and mess around with the settings until everything matched. But with fine line, this is where I, it made me hate this. At first, I was trying to figure out how to make the photo of myself fisheye effect, and I could not figure it out on Photoshop. And I'm very good at Photoshop, so the fact that I couldn't figure it out was very annoying. And then I was like, okay, well, scrap that idea. Let's at least try and figure out how to make the room. I couldn't really figure out a good way of doing that either, so my solution was to just draw it in Photoshop. Okay, so I decided that I'm just going to draw it. We'll see how it goes. But I couldn't really make that look good either. And it all looked very weird. I just was not happy with this one. It was such a pain in my stupid little butt. I'm giving you another update with the Harry Styles album cover. It looks bad. So yeah, that was basically my process of that whole thing. Somehow I managed to forget to film the part where I show you guys the photos. So uh, here's Weezer. Here's 1989. Here's Sweetener. 
rumors, yeah! and fine line. Boo, you stink! We're not gonna talk about that one. I really loved doing it, even though it was very annoying in some ways. But honestly, I had this idea for so long, I was so excited to just get it out of my head and onto this plane of existence. <laughs> if you liked this, please comment, like, and subscribe. It really helps me out, helps me know that I should make more things like this. Also, let me know if I should make more little recreating album covers or anything of your desire because I like to create things. It's very fun. Anyway, I love you and I will see you next time.